The Amazon is still burning, and the destruction of the world's largest carbon sink is a calamity in terms of our ability to tackle the climate emergency. It is also a very personal tragedy for the thousands of indigenous people for whom the Amazon is a sacred home that they have protected for millennia. But the greatest tragedy of all is that this could all have been prevented. It was a quite unnecessary tragedy to have taken place. It was clear that President Bolsonaro was going to side with the ranchers and the loggers. But the EU could have used its trade power to put pressure on Bolsonaro to protect the Amazon. In fact, European leaders, including Macron, who had previously vowed to protect the Amazon, signed off on the Mercosur trade deal, and Bolsonaro took that as a green light to encourage ranchers to murder indigenous people and set the forest ablaze. In March, I organised a cross-party letter signed by many members of this House to Trade Commissioner Malmström. We raised long-standing concerns about the EU-Mercosur trade agreement and pledged not to vote for it as long as it did not include legally binding environment and human rights standards. I was trying to establish a majority to block the deal in Parliament unless it included this legally binding protection of the Amazon and its people. Members of the Liberal group in the European Parliament refused to co-sign this letter, preferring free trade over environmental protection. We must persuade them to change their minds. Parliament has the power to do this, so please write to your MEP asking them to support the Greens' call for legally binding protection, not just empty words.